Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Muhammad Faizan. In this video, I will be showing you that how you can enable help in SAP system. So uh, let me show you first that uh, how the help works. Uh, if you click on the help button and you click on application help or uh, SAP library. For example, if you click on this, it will show you no documentation available. So this is what we need to configure. Uh, there are two ways uh, through which you can enable this help. One is you can uh, download uh, the files on your operating system level and you can install them there and uh, from there you can access it. The other way is to enable the help through HTTP. So to enable the help through HTTP, uh, you need to have the internet connection. So in this video, uh, our focus is to to enable the HTTP help or uh, through the SAP portal. So this is how you have seen this is not working in this system. But now I'm going to show you another system here. Here if you see click on help and application help. Here it is directly connected to SAP portal. And another beauty of this uh, for example if you go to SU01 which is a user maintenance screen and now you go to the help it will directly take you to the help of user maintenance here you can see you can create and edit user master record similarly uh, you can see uh, here uh, SNC tab roles page tab profile tab so all these tabs you can see for a specific user let me go to another screen st02 for example here you go and you click on application help so it will take you to the relevant screen buffer monitor and tune summary so this is very helpful uh, you can uh, you can take the help of whatever screen you want now i will show you that how we can configure this so to configure this uh, there are two sap nodes i'm going to show you here this is the first sap node this is uh, basically configured in sr13 transaction so uh, in, if you go to sr13 uh, which i'll show you you can see four different tabs here so if you want to enable the http help that means if you are going to link the sap portal so you have to go to this plain html http tab here these are the configurations that you have to make and uh, here uh, the configurations in this note are for english language and for also german language but you can configure it for uh, for whatever language you have installed in your sap system and you have to default uh, one language here in my case i have defaulted the language english and i have configured only the english language which was required and here uh, this is how you can configure the files also so you have to specify the file path here but uh, i have configured only uh, the http uh, this is the note uh, you can open it and you can just go through this sap note it talks about all the details from where you can get this path detail from where you can get this server details so all these things are covered in this note as well as in this sap note so here if you open this if you click on this link and this link you can go here also it also talks about the same that how you can configure what is the this is basically the server name that you have to specify in the server uh, url and also uh, uh, let me also show you in parallel this is the system where i have configured this so i'll go to sr13 and here plain html http so this is how uh, this information which is mentioned here so all this information i got it from the sap node this one also this one this one and also this is also there in the sap node but for this path for this path which is mentioned here i took it from here you can go here uh, basically this this link is already given here in this sap node here this one 
so you click on this you go here you click on the provide documentation content here if you open it it will contain an excel file which talks about the path that what path basically you need to configure here you can see the different paths uh, before that i have configured the path that was related to my sps for example my sps is sps 15 so in the path i have configured this path here you can see it is the path so i have configured the path sps for sps 15 but the urls were not working then i have opened a ticket with sap and then they they told me that now you have to configure this path which is the sap underscore erp slash 6.18 dot latest so after configuring this path the urls are now working absolutely fine so here uh, you can see it uh, this is the path which is configured here this is uh, the complete configuration and after uh, completing this configuration if you click on the save button so it will prompt for a transport so i have already configured this uh, all these settings uh, and uh, i have stored in a transport so th that is already uh, stored here in the transport you can also uh, create a transport and you can take it through the uh, quality and then production system uh, thank you so much uh, for watching the video goodbye